everybody it's monday and we all just woke up and we hit the ipad but he found it this morning so it's fine My back hurting really bad. Yeah. I don't know why, but it feels like really sore, and I didn't even do anything yesterday, so I don't even think I really slept right. Um, but I'm gonna do some stretches right now to see if hopefully that helps because it really does hurt like a lot. I try to pick up these eye right now, and it hurt even more. So um, I'm gonna go do some stretches. And See how that goes because I don't think I'll be able to make it through the day with holding his eye if my back keeps hurting like this because it's really bad. It, it's almost like if I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's just, it's really painful. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Papa. <laughs> so you're almost falling. And Dexter, good morning, boy. So, anyway, it's time to go brush my teeth and wash my face so that I can wake up a little bit more. And then I am gonna go do the stretches and then work out a little bit and then have my coffee because I'm really going to need coffee today. I fell asleep last night at 1 in the morning and I don't know why I just cannot go to sleep when the kids go to sleep and Isaiah falls asleep at 10 um, and I just I don't go to sleep till 1 in the morning so I don't know why. It just it really sucks. I hate it. So we finished eating breakfast. I had avocado toast. Ethan had eggs with cantaloupe and then um he had a piece of toast but he didn't eat it and then i also had eggs um and a little bit of cantaloupe and i'm still drinking my coffee i'm about to vacuum the living room because ethan kind of made a mess when he was eating so i need to uh get all that cleaned up before he tries to heat it off the floor because you know how kids are they just pick up anything and try to eat it so yeah i'm gonna vacuum the floor really quick and then i'm gonna try to sweep and mop uh the kitchen and the bathrooms and the little entrance area and um yeah hopefully Ethan doesn't get scared with the vacuum he normally does because he's not used to it but uh he's been doing pretty okay these last two days that i've been vacuuming the floor with him in the living room so we'll see how he does today um and then after that i made dinner last night so that i wouldn't have to cook today which was one of the greatest ideas of my life so i think i'm gonna start doing that every sunday so that mondays i just focus more on like the cleaning parts of the house and then um i mean the house doesn't get as dirty at all i really need to do is pick up the things that the kid the the kids ethan and dexter because these eyes doesn't really do anything yet um, but I just have to pick up the toys that they use because Ethan loves to go to his room and take out toys and leave them all over the place. So Ethan saw the vacuum in our, he's, a, he's already a little bit scared, but I'll go pick him up and see. Wait. So I just put Ethan down for his nap and his eyes right here playing. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy and Dexter's over there napping. And um, it's been a very like emotional day for me for some reason i've been feeling really emotional these last couple of days like i just want to cry and cry and i have no idea why i just feel so sad and when i try to get to like my sad point like to see why it is like i just could not figure it out what it is 
honestly it's every time i'm watching Grey's anatomy like it's not even the show itself it's when the music comes on and it like triggers something in me and it just makes me feel so sad and i know i should probably stop watching the show but i love the show and i don't know why like the little music like the little intro music or the ending credit music like it just makes me really sad and I don't know I really want to get to the bottom of it because it sucks to feel really sad all the time you know so yeah I'm trying to see what it can be and I just I'm like <laughs> I don't know I just don't know hey everyone so we're relaxing do you know Popo? So he wasn't happy in any other position and when I sat him down like that he was happy so whatever and Ethan's over here eating um he's eating chicken salad and then on the other bowl or thing Tupperware thing he has strawberries and blueberries are you enjoying your food yeah <laughs> I don't know what he's doing um, but yeah, anyway, you guys know how I was talking about earlier that I was like really sad or whatever. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, he's so cute. Hi. <laughs> I think I was just like really down because both of my babies were asleep. And <laughs> I don't know, I just, I think I was just really down, I don't know why, but I feel a lot better now. Um, here it comes again. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Alright. Left me all kinds of saliva. <laughs> so cute. Um, he loves chicken salad and he loves fruit, so uh, I think I'm going to have to start making him more of it. I just realized the light behind me is like glaring into my eyeball. Anyway, uh, we're just waiting for Joel to get home so that I can eat dinner with him. Um, I'm not that hungry yet. I had string cheese. I had string cheese. I ate some string cheese. <laughs> There's Ethan bothering Dexter like always, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just reading my book because reading my book actually helps me feel a lot better. And um, I want to talk to you guys about it, but I don't know if I should make like a separate video on it, which I don't think I might. I think I'm just going to talk about it on the vlog. Um, <laughs> are you okay? I started this book last week on Monday and then I finished it on Tuesday. So it's not like a huge book or anything, but it really does help me like see the more positive things in life and it helps me change the way that I see things um the book is called The Secret let me show it to you guys actually I was sitting on the floor because I was checking my phone and my phone's charging um but this is the book it's called The Secret by Rhonda uh Byrne Byrne um I'm not sure but uh, what are you what are you doing oh, okay yeah <laughs> He hates having his hands dirty, so every time his hand is dirty, he'll, like, come up to me so I can clean it. Um, but yeah, this book is amazing if you guys need, like, to change the way that you guys see life, if you guys feel like you guys are too negative, um, or too many bad things are happening in your life, I definitely recommend this book. It's... I've been meaning to read it since last year. My sister-in-law gave it to um, Joelle, and I've been meaning to read it. And actually, the reason I wanted to read it was actually two years ago when my friend Tanya told me about it, and um, I never got around to it, and then the book actually showed up in my life regardless. Um, and so I've been reading it, and I finished it two times already, but I'm just gonna continue to read it to like, every day I don't care like it doesn't get repetitive to me it helps me feel so much better and so I don't know you guys it's such a good book like you guys really need to read it and um, it's just helping me change the aspect in which I see life and that is so important with me right now because it's something that I really needed let me go get Isaiah 
But yeah, if you guys have read this book, definitely let me know and let me know what you thought about it. I absolutely love it. If you guys are interested in reading this book, you guys definitely should like don't hold back on it like don't push it off any further because it will literally change your life the second you start reading it and it's so amazing when something like that can happen in such a short amount of time i guess you just have to be open to changing the way that you think and the way that you live your life basically because that's definitely what's going on with me right now i'm changing the way that i think and see everything and i feel so much better obviously i had that little episode earlier where where i just felt really depressed and so i picked up this book and it helped me feel so much better and um yeah like i definitely recommend it i know i've said it like a hundred times just in this past couple seconds but i do yeah let's talk to my little man here what are we doing I love you. Oh. Yes, library baby. Oh, so I definitely think Isaiah is teething because he's been slobbering like crazy. He's been uh, trying to bite down on everything that he can. Hi. And he's been fuzzy and getting him to go to sleep has been a little bit harder. He still sleeps through the night perfectly he still takes his naps but it's just a little bit harder to get him to to uh fall asleep i don't know i don't know just, I don't know. what <laughs> fun you, they, uh, I don't know I love them so much We have Mr. Dexter. Hi, Dexter. Hi, Dexter. You're so cute. Hello. Yeah. Joel's been home for a couple hours now. Say hi. How's work? Good. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> and we had dinner, and um, that was a little while ago. So, since I'm hungry again, I'm gonna get some cereal. I have a lot to choose from, so I don't know what kind I'm gonna get yet. And I already showered, I don't know if I mentioned that, Joel showered, and then in a couple minutes, it's Ethan's bath time. And, um, and then after that, we're just gonna relax, watch a movie, and then go to sleep. Right now, we're watching the Ozark, or is it just Ozark? And, um, it's a pretty good show, actually. We just started watching it last week, and it sucks that there's only one season because it's a really good show. So we really, like, recommend that show to you guys. It's good. So Ethan is already bathed. Bath. Bath. Oh. Ethan. Oh. Ethan. Say bye. Oh. Yeah, he's not. Oh. <laughs> he's not interested. Anyway, um, he already took a bath. We're still watching Ozark, and um, right after Isaiah's is done eating here, we're gonna go 
clean the kitchen so that again I don't have to clean it tomorrow and um, it just makes my day flow so much easier Hooray. yeah what so it's already 9 10 ish well like it's 9 with 10 minutes and um, I'm about to take Ethan to go to bed it's bedtime and then I still I still haven't cleaned the kitchen but I'm gonna do that once he falls asleep so that there's only one crying baby and not two but I'm just gonna have him say good night say bye say bye bye mm -hmm. say bye yeah mm -hmm. we're good say oh, we're good. say bye Good night, Lisa. Say good night. That's fine, right? He doesn't want to say either of them, but it is time for us to go to bed. So good night to you. Good night. All right, guys. So it's time for us to say good night. It's already 9:42. Uh. Uh, Isaiah, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Alright guys. Yeah, it's time to say goodnight. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. Good night.